downtown goes bust, it's gone for good. But 70 years after residents packed their bags, the red brick ruins of one old mining town refuses to be forgotten. Somewhere between Dallas and Abilene, there's a brand new museum, a headstone of sorts, stating once and for all, here lies Thurber, Texas. There are advantages of being in the middle of nowhere in that a new museum facility stands out like a sore thumb, especially in an abandoned town. Thurber is the, the site of the only known commercial reserves of bituminous coal in the entire state of Texas. Renowned Texas historian T. Lindsey Baker serves as the director of the Gordon Center. Mines opened at Thurber in 1886. They were operated for 50 years, mainly by the Texas Pacific Coal Company. And then when the demand for the product decreased, coal mining ended in 1926. Today, Thurber is a ghost town. The locals say that there are five people left in Thurber. The town died because of economic change. Coal wasn't the town's only claim to fame. Thurber brick factories paved the way for what would become Texas' biggest cities, from Austin's Congress Avenue to the Fort Worth Stockyards. In fact, on the other side of Interstate 20, there are a couple of Thurber brick structures still standing, and one of them just happens to serve up a mean chicken fried steak. When the company went out of business, they imploded the smokestacks that they had here. They had built them so well, they were so difficult to implode, they left that one standing, which we're glad they did because that's our namesake, the smokestack. When we're traveling, going back and forth to Fort Worth or sometimes to Denton from Colorado City, we stop here real often because the food is wonderful and the atmosphere is good too here at the smokestack. So we love it. Between the Smokestack Restaurant and the W.K. Gordon Museum, there is no better way to experience the history of two industries that made our state what it is today. Guests come in and not only see an orientation film, but they're able to use uh, uh, touch computers or to push buttons and to hear uh, uh, the story of, of a Polish immigrant uh, coal miner or an Irish brick worker. The bustling streets of downtown Thurber have been replaced by a single highway, but the heart and soul of its hard-working citizens lives on, honored now by twin memorials on both sides of Interstate 20. To this very day, motorists are driving over those maroon red Thurber bricks, maybe muttering that it's a little bouncy, but if those are bricks from Thurber, they've been in use for over 70 years and people are still driving across them. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.